Hello today's video we have the following content. Rest in peace. 5 celebrities who passed away before the filming was completed, God is really jealous of their talents. Have you ever noticed that many actors seem to appear on the screen only once and then disappear? Their existence is really like a flash in the pan, fleeting. Sometimes when you recall it, it seems like just a dream, and this person does not exist at all. When you learn the truth about their death, you can't help but sigh, God is really jealous of talents. Qiu Jianguo, the Southern Fist King of Martial Arts Stars The younger generation today may not be familiar with the name Qiu Jianguo. However, more than 20 years ago, he was a hot martial arts movie star on par with Jet Li. Qiu Jianguo was born in a martial arts family and received strict boxing training since he was a child. At the age of 15, he formally became a disciple to learn Southern Fist. Just two years later, he won six consecutive championships in the National Martial Arts Competition and won the reputation of Southern Fist King. He has coached martial arts teams in China and the United Kingdom with superb skills. In the 1990s, when the martial arts craze was on the rise, Qiu Jianguo changed his career and became a professional actor. He made his mark in many kung fu movies, such as The King of Southern Fists and The Thirteenth Sister of the Swordsman. The most impressive role for the audience was the villain Shea gang leader in the movie Wang Fi Hong starring Jet Li. With a wide mouth and a big horse cape, and a strong pressure on his iron blue face, Qiu Jianguo vividly interpreted this cold and ruthless character. In the Tai Chi Master starring Wu Jing, Qiu Jianguo played the role of the thief friends Huang Han, who was thin, sickly and stubborn, which was completely different from his previous image. His performance was smooth and natural, without any sense of artificiality, which left a deep impression on people. He never expected that this would be his last work. In 1998, Qiu Jianguo suffered a stroke while resting in the car during the filming of New Shaolin Temple. Despite rescue, his life was not saved at the age of 37. The sudden death of life made all fans and martial arts people feel extremely sad. In fact, Qiu Jianguo had nasopharyngeal cancer as early as 10 years ago. Although the treatment temporarily controlled the disease, the disease still secretly wreaked havoc. Faced with this bad news, he did not retreat, but bravely fought against the disease and devoted himself to his career. Unfortunately, he was ultimately unable to escape the trick of fate. Bruce Lee's son Brad Entley As a well-known kung fu superstar, Bruce Lee's regretful early death not only made the world sigh, but also deeply affected his children. In 1973, Bruce Lee, who was only 32 years old, died in Hong Kong at the peak of his career. The cause of his death is still controversial. Some people think it was an accidental accident, while others suspect that there is something else going on. At the age of eight, Brandon Lee grew up almost under the influence of his father Bruce Lee's martial arts career. Due to the influence of his father, when he grew up, Brandon Lee also chose to become a martial arts actor, hoping to inherit and continue his father's martial arts dream. Who would have thought that this generation was not as good as the previous generation, and the fate of the father and son was so surprisingly similar? In 1993, Brandon Lee, 28, had an accident during the filming of the movie The Crow That Should Have Been Safe. In a gunfight scene, the prop gun used by Brandon Lee accidentally fired a real bullet. The bullet penetrated his abdomen directly and eventually embedded in his spine. Although he was immediately sent to the hospital, unfortunately, due to excessive blood loss, even five bags of adult blood could not save his life. This bizarre accident quickly triggered a strong reaction from the public. According to common sense, the prop guns used by the crew should only contain blank bullets and have no lethality at all. Brandon Lee was actually shot to death by real bullets, which inevitably reminds people of the various conspiracy theories when his father died. Many people believe that what happened to Brandon Lee was not accidental, but the result of someone's deliberate planning. However, as time goes by, the tragedy will be gradually forgotten. Although the father and son had a bright future, they died young, which is a pity. They were destined not to be able to gallop in the martial arts world. The mystery of their death will always be an unsolved mystery. Liu Dan, the fragrant concubine who is so beautiful that she can't be solved. When it comes to the fragrant concubine in My Fair Princess, many people must still remember it. Liu Dan, who played the fragrant concubine, was really peerless and charming. Not only did she make the emperor's heartbeat, but even the audience was also fascinated by her and lingered in their dreams. However, such a beauty ended her life in a sudden car accident, which made people sigh. 
It turned out that the car Liu Dan was riding in had an accident due to some reasons while driving on the highway. Liu Dan was sitting in the back seat of the car. Because she didn't wear a seat belt, she was thrown out of the car by the strong centrifugal force. Her head hit the hard asphalt road hard, and blood splattered everywhere. Although there were other passengers in the car, they only suffered some minor skin injuries due to the protection of the airbag. However, due to the serious injuries, Liu Dan eventually died. Liu Dan's death made her family, friends and fans deeply saddened. At her funeral, many people couldn't hold back their tears, including Zhu Hongjia, who played Xiao Jian in the play. Because of Zhu Hongjia's performance at the funeral and his deep friendship with Liu Dan, the outside world once speculated that they were lovers, and there were even rumors that Zhu Hongjia never married for Liu Dan. However, in fact, Zhu Hongjia and Liu Dan were just very good friends, not lovers. Zhu Hongjia clarified this point in the show a long time ago. He was very low-key about his personal feelings and had been secretly married for many years. Liu Dan's accidental death is undoubtedly heartbreaking. Although her life was short, the image of Shi Yuang Fei she created in My Fair Princess will always be engraved in the hearts of the audience. Guo Chang, the Guangdong Stephen Chow. Known as the Guangdong Stephen Chow, he once represented Guangdong in the Spring Festival Gala and performed on the same stage with Pan Chang Jiang and Li Xilin. In those hot youth years, did he foresee that his fate would be so unfortunate? The comedy foreign daughter-in-law local man has been in Guangdong for more than 20 years, integrating various folk sentiments into one, and has made the well-known name Guo Chang. Since the show was launched in 2000, he has starred in nearly a thousand episodes in one go. The second brother Kang Kazan he played has won him the reputation of Guangdong Stephen Chow for his cheerful and harmless image. Unexpectedly, a routine physical examination in 2003 struck down this delicate flower like a rainstorm, and Guo Chang was diagnosed with gastric cancer. Although the disease eroded his body, he still gritted his teeth and insisted on performing, dragging his weak body to barely maintain the filming progress of the crew. After three years of arduous anti-cancer journey, despite his best efforts, it was still useless. In 2006, this man with a comedy mission failed to escape the call of the King of Hell. Therefore, in order to mourn this popular young actor, the crew cleverly arranged the plot of Kang Kiz and went to Africa. Although he was later replaced and restarred, Zhou Ziyabin still failed to win the audience's love. Guo Chang's death cast a shadow on this long drama, and many viewers gave up watching it. This clearly shows that he had injected extraordinary vitality into this work. Time flies, and heroes emerge. Although Guo Chang died early, his life full of ups and downs perfectly interprets the from pursuit of dreams. Yu Yuxin, the well-known Zida Jiao. As a northern girl, Yu Yuxin experienced many twists and turns when she first entered the entertainment industry. After being admitted to the Central Academy of Drama in 1992, although she had played a small role in the book and the sword starring her classmate Wang Haibing, she has been wandering between playing small roles and playing supporting roles after graduation, and has never been able to make a name for herself. Fortunately, in the costume drama the sequel to Journey to the West broadcast in 2000, she played the role of Chen Wuzhen, which was impressive and attracted the audience's attention with her outstanding performance. Her youthful vitality and fresh beauty won unanimous praise from the audience. In the 1998 version of Water Margin, her performance was even better. She played the role of Jin Kilian vividly and left a deep impression on people. Although Zhao Benshin, her brother-in-law, is already a superstar in the comedy industry, Yu Yuxin still insists on independent struggle. She is stubborn in her bones. Cousin Ma Lijuan praised her talent and strongly recommended Zhao Benshin to watch Round Well in which she participated, and she was finally reused. In 2006, at the age of 35, she played Zida Jiao in Country Love and quickly became well known and a household name. To play this role, Yu Yuxin deliberately changed her previous youthful and beautiful appearance and deliberately made herself plump to create the image of a village woman. Everyone was not only amazed at her focus on her acting career, but also impressed by her profound acting skills. Since then, she has been more comfortable in rural-themed works. The unpredictable changes in life make people sigh. Yu Yuxin, who was in the midst of a booming career, died unexpectedly in a car accident, which made countless fans feel sad. In the early morning of August 9, 2021, on her way to the new drama location in Inner Mongolia, the vehicle she was riding collided with a camel on the road, which eventually caused her to lose her precious life. The driver was later sentenced to one year in prison, and her life came to an end.
Some people say that the job of an actor is easy, but these people have proved to us with their lives that every industry is not easy. I wish them a smooth journey and continue to pursue their acting dreams in another place. If you like my article, please click follow. I look forward to your communication with me in the comment area, and I wish everyone a happy day. Next news. Wanting to be the successor of Jackie Chan, Jet Li and Stephen Chow, Shizia Long's new film successfully topped the list as soon as it was released. Since Jet Li retired, Stephen Chow moved behind the scenes, and Jackie Chan has grown old. Chinese kung fu movies have officially declined, because they have no successors, and no younger kung fu actors can become their successors. This is just like the Hong Kong movies that have already begun to decline. In the past 10 years, there are only a handful of Hong Kong movies that have become classics, and there are even fewer Hong Kong movies that can achieve a win-win situation in both word of mouth and box office. The reason for this is that there are too few young actors who can support Hong Kong movies, or even none at all. Even so, domestic audiences still hope that in the future, some younger actors can inherit the mantle of Jackie Chan, Jet Li, Stephen Chow and other older generation superstar actors and become kung fu superstars recognized by the next generation of audiences. And the appearance of some people seems to have given the audience hope. Just like Zi Miao, who was born as a child star, he has been regarded by many people as a quasi first-line kung fu superstar because the No One and Northeast Police Story series starring him have achieved great success in China. But unfortunately, judging from the current performances and achievements, Zimi Ao is still far away from superstar actors such as Jackie Chan and Jet Li. After all, his hugely successful films are only online movies that have not landed in theaters. Fortunately, among the relatively young generation of kung fu actors, the audience not only remembers Zimi Ao, but also Shi Zia Long, who was also born as a child star. Perhaps in order to reach the heights of superstar actors such as Jackie Chan, Jet Li and Stephen Chow more quickly, he began to direct action kung fu movies in 2019. Since 2022, he has become a film director and officially started the road of directing and acting by himself. Now, Shizia Long has launched a new kung fu film Drunk Punch directed and acted by himself. Drunken Fist is the second kung fu film directed and acted by Shizia Long. The cast of the film is quite strong. In addition to his old partner Hao Shea Owen, there are many well-known actors such as Yun Zuiri, Zhang Shi, Wen Huang, Yuan Kyungdan and Che Bei Oluo. It mainly tells the story of Lin Yao, played by Shi Zia Long, who likes to practice martial arts since he was a child. He thinks he is very powerful, but step by step he falls into the scam set by Li Bei Mei, played by Yun Zuiri, and Qin Shuang, played by Chan Xin Mei, and others, and is betrayed by his good friend Lin Zai played by Hao Shea Owen. After these setbacks, Lin Yaro recognizes himself, regains confidence, practices drunken boxing, defeats Li Bei and becomes a true hero. Shi Zia Long and Hao Shea Owen, the old partners, cooperate again, which can be regarded as bringing a wave of memories to the audience. But after watching the movie Drunken Fist, the audience will find that it brings us more than just these memories. The film can be said to be a tribute to all the kung fu superstars of the older generation, such as Jackie Chan, Jet Li, Stephen Chow and Yuan Bao. Some of the story plots imitate Stephen Chow's The Legend of Drunken Master and Yuan Bao's The Prodigal Son, and some martial arts moves imitate Jackie Chan and Jet Li. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,